what's up it's Kathy and I'm back with another process video this one's for International Scrapbooking Day 2017 and it's for the Just Nick Cut File Shop and we're doing kind of a bunch of different uh, blog posts throughout the day and there'll be free cut files uh, to go along with it so the Dreamcatcher cut file that I'm using is going to be free and I believe it's under you have to use the code dream to free like all caps um, to get it up until May 7th so yeah anyway <clears throat> so I'm kind of showing you what I did and uh, my camera zooming in and out um, my background paper is from crate paper poolside which is kind of an older one um, from like a year two years ago summer two anyway <laughs> Uh, I'm just sewing it just to have a little bit of, I don't know, like a, uh, just so it's softer in the background where my dream catcher is going to be. So I also used uh, feather cut files. There was one called Feathers 2, and that was three feathers. And then I took the sweat, Sweater Weather cut file, um, which has a few different uh, different pieces like the um, words and phrases and stuff but it also had some feathers so I used it as well and cut uh, you don't see much of that color <laughs> um, and cut out a bunch of different feathers and I basically just found scraps in my scrap drawer uh, tiny ones uh, a lot of them I think almost all of them were from different Dear Lizzie uh, collections from over the years so there was like fine and dandy there was Neapolitan there was the newest one, uh, Lovely Day. There, I think that was it. And there might have been a Pink Fresh Studio one in there. And I cut the Dreamcatcher out of a paper from the Saturday collection. Uh, I'm just using some Heidi Swap Color Shine. I'm keeping it very muted. So that's why I, once I put the color down, I almost immediately. Uh, soaked it back up with paper towel and it was because I didn't want really really strong colors in the background just a little bit just a little hint of something so um, I decided not to pop it up on foam um, I could have which would have been fine too I just I didn't bother and I didn't glue down the, the edges uh, I glued it down from the middle out just so that it would have a little bit of movability um, and I did use uh, what is it called <laughs> that glue that I can't remember what it's called right now oh that's right there glossy accents I used it because um, I figured dry adhesive wouldn't be quite as good on um, on the mixed media surface so I'm kind of showing you what I want to do. I want to arrange my cut flowers. Oh, then there is a crepe paper one in there too. Um, my feathers. It's one of the striped ones. Um, so I do do something with the stems of the feathers that I pretty much cut completely out of you having to watch, which was wrapping them in twine and then stapling the twine onto them thing was is then when I was done it was really dark and annoying I just did not like it so I cut off all the stems now I thought I had filmed myself doing this but I guess I didn't but I have a bunch of craft white feathers that I just bought at a craft store so I glued them down now the trick with those is I just squirted a bunch of glue all around the top part where the, the feathers would be and this will take some patience for sure it is getting them to stick down but without sticking them all to your hand and keeping them down and you have to I had to instead of them flipping up they had to kind of flip down so that they would stay um, so I just glued a whole bunch along um, along the bottom uh, in kind of a semi circle and then I glued uh, my feather my paper feathers on top so that was pretty much it if I was to zoom into the middle there um, where they're all glued down at the very like attached to the dream catcher it would does not look good so I do kind of cover that a little bit with some 
um, with some embellishments just because it <clears throat> it would look kind of bad. So I was off finding my tissue paper. I finally found my white tissue paper. Um, I don't want to back this photo with a ton of stuff. I just want it to be very light and kind of dreamy because that's the effect that I'm going for with the feathers. And I did glue, I think, at least one feather on top of the paper feathers. And so I kind of had to glue it and then hold it down and wait for it. So that was the one that took a while. Um, I think I'm just looking for my <laughs> for my adhesive right now. So I want to tear all the edges off on, um, on my tissue paper and I'm going to add a few layers of paper uh, underneath that too and I'm going to tear those too. I just I liked the look of it this time being a little kind of you know shabby and and stuff like that it worked it worked really well so um, yeah I'm just <laughs> my original thought was well I'm just gonna rip two sides and then I was like oh no I don't want to rip two sides I want all the sides to have that ripped edge so then you end up I ended up just having to glue um, tape essentially four pieces of tissue paper together so clever there so anyway I ripped that that was from Maggie Holmes chasing dreams which is new and it's just kind of peeking out <laughs> that was when I hit my desk. <laughs> um, I have a I have a chair that rolls and sometimes I roll back into my desk after I've turned around to look through my paper pads and uh, my scraps. I everything I grabbed I grabbed from my scrap drawer because sometimes my six by six paper pad papers fall out and I just put them in the scrap drawer. I have like a big three big scrap drawers for large pieces and then two smaller ones with dividers for my smaller pieces that I would use for backing cut files or backing a small photo. I was originally going to put the larger pop dots on and then I remembered that my title was going to need those so I had which is that which is a an older um, wood veneer that I think is from an older Maggie Holmes maybe bloom? <laughs> I, I say it as a question mark or shine maybe? Might have been shine. Anyway, so I'm going to paint it white with just some cheap white craft paint. Uh, let it dry. Well, <laughs> quote unquote, let it dry. And by let it dry, I mean I'm going to use my heat tool. And then I'm going to emboss it. And I had this pearl teal embossing powder. And I don't know if maybe it's old or I did it wrong, but it didn't work the way it was. It was really bubbly and weird even when it was done and all dried. And I did it twice um, and it was still weird and, and bubbly. So I don't know if maybe it was just, I don't know if embossing powder can expire or, or what, but none of my other powders have done it like this, but this is the only pearl one that I have. So I don't know if I will buy more. I, it looks okay, but it's weird. It 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 looks like there's all these little pearls all over it. I just thought it meant it was going to be pearlized, but anyway. Not the point. Uh, I do another coat. I didn't necessarily need to. It was It was dark enough on its own, but there was a lot of spaces where there was none because of it bubbling and moving and everything like that. So I just decided why not. Um, I often do two coats of my embossing powders uh, when I'm doing them. So and I was like I was really happy because I not only did I do embossing but I did mixed media. Oh this is my daughter. She wants to paint with me. So uh, she was asking about doing painting and I don't know when I'll get to do it with her but I'm certain I will. Anyway <clears throat> um, yeah, <laughs> anywho, um, and that is a picture of my daughter when she was first born, and she finally came home from the hospital. Um, she was uh, in the NICU for a month, and then we had to travel to a children's hospital for a week during that time before she got to come home, and she wasn't a preemie or anything like that, but there were a lot of issues um, 
when she was born and it was just it's so nice to have her home with us and I can't remember if this was me taking a picture because the feeding tube was out or or at this point we had stopped using the feeding tube um I just got really annoyed with it after a while and just figured out a way to feed her without having to use it so anyway there's like a huge story that goes along with uh, with her birth but um yeah anyway she looks so sweet all smooshed in there sleeping um I'm pretty much going to use exclusively uh, Little You, which was an older crepe paper baby collection, and I'm using the the, the girl one. Uh, I have the girl and the boy, but I've used a lot of the boy one already because I have two boys and just the one girl, so I thought about putting a, a card in there that was really cute and it said all you need is sleep, but then it was covering so much of the dream catcher that it just seemed why was the point of there even being a dream catcher? But I love that little star that said good night. So I thought that was really cute. I'm right now I'm trying to figure out why I can't get that uh, film off the acetate, only to realize I'm pretty certain I've already taken the film off that acetate. And that's why it wouldn't come off. And I didn't end up putting it in the right spot, but that's okay. And I just wanted it to kind of be peeking out in something you could kind of read, but you know, not necessarily. I love that little bow, which is also from the same um, chipboard, and it's lined with gold, so I'm going to bring in some glittery gold in two other spots so that I have my visual triangle of gold. Um, but I just, I love how this turned out, combining the feathers with the other feathers with the cut files, and it just came together, and I'm I was worried, but I'm so super happy with how it turned out. I just think it's absolutely adorable. It's one of my favorite layouts to date uh, that I've done, and I'm just super happy with it. I just think it's it's really cute, and I can't believe how quickly once I had everything cut out, I couldn't believe how quickly I got it to uh, I got it together. So, yeah. I'm going to use um, sequins too because why not? Sequins are cute. These are iridescent sequins. I just bought them at a craft store and I'm going to glue them all over random places like even on the feathers and just just to have a little bit more shine, just a little bit more dreaminess to it. I'm looking for some small ones too. But uh, And then yeah, I'm going to use Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine. Um, just because I knew if I put a blue on top of that wood grain, it wouldn't quite be the color I wanted. So I figured I might as well do gold. It was, it would just be a little hint of shimmer in there. And, uh, no, I'm really happy with how this turned. And I get it everywhere, including on top of the actual feathers, which is really cool. So pictures are coming up. I hope you stop by the blog and thanks for watching. Bye.